here is basically an idea, very simple, to use uh, organic uh, residues in, in a better form. Uh, we are in Brazil, it's a hot climate, uh, things grow fast and then you have a lot of many trees and then you have this necessity to, to cut some of the branches. So what normally happens is that this is being burned because uh, people don't know what to do with that. So this is one of the places, like typical places, where uh, there is a mixture. So you see plastic, uh, paper, uh, glass, uh, finer litter, and you know things that could become biochar. So uh, in itself, it's already you know it's a mix of, of problems. But one additional problem is that this. Uh, once got fired and it spread into this part uh, behind which is uh, Atlantic Forest. A gente fez uma, uma mistura aqui com a nossa terrinha misturada com 40% de carvão. Vou lançar muda agora. Vou lançar vários tipos de muda, alface e tomate. Dá pra ver que vai fazer que é mais arejado a terra ainda. E vamos ver agora os resultados de produção, né? So the way that we would expect this uh, biochar produced this way to work is that when we put it to the soil, then it gets this initial boost uh, because of ashes. So because ashes carry uh, nutrients, potassium and phosphorus. As the time passes, you would expect that biochar works on other properties of soil. Water holding capacity would, would increase, also the properties of uh, organic matter content. So.
todos tomarem consciência, os que fazem isso, tomarem consciência que pode prejudicar. É, não a minha geração, mas a geração da minha filha, a geração dos meus netos. Não vai ter uma coisa tão poluída como a gente tem hoje em dia.